Hello my soccer universe. If you always want to know why this Granada jersey makes me look like a superhero. Ah. Hmm. It makes me look. This is like a cape and whatever. The temple on this one is just brilliant. Yeah. Granada threw the title race in Spain wide open. Making me do this video, although we will have only two games to talk about it, but it's so momentous that I don't want to actually uh, go over the weekend to have this because it's really the title race in Spain is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely crazy. And at this moment, I think it's anyone's guess who will be uh, winning La Liga. And uh, what's even more is. We said last weekend in Liga, and we're not talking about Liga, although I have Liga on Jerry's out here. Last weekend we said, um, yeah, it's a three way title race because, a race because Lyon um, exited thanks to the loss to Lille. And then in Spain they decided, no, we're going to have a proper four way title race. It is absolutely nuts, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, and it is right there on on the edge and i can tell you right right now the not the next but the weekend thereafter will go a long way of deciding that title race so yeah you probably are or you know granada beat yesterday barcelona on be freaking livable um be freaking livable especially the way it also went but it allows me to get this Granada jersey, which is a prototype jersey, I think for 14, for the 14, 15 seasons, or something, to give this a debut on the channel, uh, me wearing it. So, yeah, I will say, let's get into it. Will I'll add on Liga, Liga Nosh at the very end, and then we also see uh, also the um, what happened in Liga, uh, uh, what will happen on the weekend as well, to just refresh our memory on that as well. Well, we have to first uh, say that uh, Real Sociedad beat uh, a bar Monday evening. Uh, you know, I shot a little, little, little bit before the Monday game. So uh, just to uh, complete that, but I will not go to the table after this round because the next two uh, make up games from round 33, which will nicely uh, then even the, ta the table out. So I'm doing it all at once. I have to say I saw of both games most of it. Um, although for Bilbao, I switched into the Champions League cup coverage Bilbao, I did I switch to the Champions League coverage just before the game. Really, really got exciting. And what's really exciting to me are those Valladolid jerseys, I have to say. they, uh, Especially my daughters and my wife like them a lot. So let's see. Let's see. I mean, Valladolid is not a top team uh, for me on my list, but um, I would like it. <laughs> I, I, I would like it. Um, Bilbao took the lead and I had the feeling that throughout the first half they were uh, largely the better team, although Valladolid was threatening. They got an equalizing goal. It was a nice take by Sean Weissmann from just there. He just played for Wolfsburg not too long ago. Now he's playing at uh, Valladolid and yeah, I have some bad memories with him because he scored a uh, vital goal against Lusk. He, 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 he's a good goal scorer, I have to say. That was called off right for so far offside, but Orellana in the 70th gets them the equalizer. However, Garcia have a really nice Williams assist. Um, makes it 2-1 for Bilbao, but Valladolid has a fight in them and they get the equalizer now through Sean Weissmann in the 85th and this is vital points for them in the relegation battle. But uh, Bilbao may be dropping off a little bit um, in the uh, race for European spots. However, the game that I really wanted to actually see was Barcelona against Granada and boy, what a game that was. Because this was... Barcelona, uh, I don't know what to say, a typical Barcelona game, but they had it all under control and they threw it away. All under, 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 under control. They dominated position. I think at first half it was at 1.80 to 20. They were passing, they were playing left, they were playing right, they were uh, take, uh, having chances, missing chances. The goal by Messi in the 23rd, you thought this unlocked. Uh, the key, uh, the, this was unlocking the door and now the floodgates will open up. It was beautiful assist by Griezmann who just with a turn goes through the Granada defense and plays it to uh, Messi who is running from, from the outside and from a um, tight angle puts it in and it is 1-0 Barca. And the one thing is they do not back that up. 
that's the one thing that you can flop on our personal phone. And Granada, of course, keeping it tight. And I had a feeling that this Granada game will be a tight game for Barcelona because already the first game, I think Granada had 2 0 lead going in later. Or was this in the cup? I think it was in the cup. I, I, there was one really, really exciting Barcelona Granada game that Barcelona had. I think it was in the cup when, when they went on to win it in all overtime when uh, Barcelona was already 2 0 down. I think then late turn it 2 2 and make it maybe 4 2. It was an absolute nuts game. And I knew that Granada can uh, give Barcelona some trouble. However, uh, the way it went, I really did, did not expect it. Uh, especially when that uh, Roberto Soldado, who I, I, I think is probably the best striker, came, came up for Jorge Molina. And then shot uh, Machis out of nowhere. First shot on goal, just trying. Yes, uh, um, uh, I mean, guess uh, is to blame for that one. Makes it 1 1. And at that point, if that would have finished, the table would have already been epic. 73 Atleti, 72 Barcelona, 71 Real Madrid, 70 Sevilla. Just to have that in mind. Uh, but Barcelona still firmly controlling the destiny. They would lose the advantage of a uh, tie being enough against Atleti, but uh, if they would win out, they would win the title. For some reason, Ronald Koeman then got uh, uh, a red card. Um, I guess he was arguing with the fourth official. I could not make out any, any, anything. But Barcelona trying to really get that win. But um, the one thing with Barcelona I have to say this season is it always seems they play brilliant, but only, only 20 minutes at a, at, a, at, a, at a time. And especially... Uh, Messi, uh, he played brilliant in this first half. They all had this 20 minute spell where you know he also scored, but then he kind of disappeared. There was, I think, a header from, uh, from Piquet, but in the end, it's a brilliant cross from Marin onto Molina's head, and the 39 year old scores the winner for Granada. And there is no way for Barca to come back, absolutely no way for Barca to come, 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 come back. It was a staggering. This is the first time that Granada got points at the camp now. That's how crazy this game was. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, the stats speak for themselves. Let me just uh, read. I mean, possession, 82 to 18 for the entire match. Goal attempts, 16 to 5, although the 5 for Granada came late on. More or less, shots and goal and 4 for 2. The two shots went into the goal. <laughs> Six one core 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 core. It was it was an absolute crazy crazy game, and what's even crazy is now the table. The only team that fully controlled the destiny is Atletico Madrid. If they win out, they're champions with two points ahead. But you see already a chance. It's thirty nine percent Atletico Madrid, thirty nine percent Barcelona. And unless you already uh, can guess, I will uh, tell, tell, tell in a sec who has the slightest of advantages in there. But the situation is like this. You think that if Barcelona could win out, they win it. No, because Real Madrid holds the tiebreaker over Atleti and over Barcelona. So just imagine if there's a draw between Atleti and Barcelona and Real Madrid get a win, then they're all level, but Real Madrid owns a tiebreaker over all of them. And Barcelona would lose all the tiebreakers. So that is an important thing to have in mind. It's the head-to-head -to -head duels. Barcelona absolutely must win against Atletico Madrid. However, Real Madrid, if they win out and Barcelona wins against Atletico, then Real Madrid are in the driver's seat. However, there's also the little uh, Sevilla. I mean, it's only 5% at this very moment. But... Sevilla has a shot in this because the teams are so not to be trusted there in the run-in. I actually think that this loss of Barcelona give, uh, gives Atleti a big shot in the arm, but we have to see now how everything develops. I think um, Sevilla very, very much an outside chance, but I would love it if they would win La Liga. If you ask me, and I know I have sympathies for Barcelona, but I don't think that this season they would deserve to win the title. Neither really Real Madrid, although they at least win won the head-to-heads against the two other contenders, so there could be a, a strong case be made for Real Madrid. I really would love it if it's Atletico or Sevilla, and especially if Sevilla would win the title. That would be just epic, in my opinion. Uh, that's what I'm rooting for and so many of the other leagues have not gone the way that I wanted and I'm and I'm losing a little bit but here in Spain Atletico Atletico would, would already be a big story Sevilla would be even a bigger story this is what I'm rooting for that's one of those two winning the title because as I said I think all the, all the four in there 
I think Bar 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 Barcelona is the least deserving, although they are probably having potentially the biggest control and, and, and the most talented squad, but the way that the season early on went, I mean, yeah, we gotta see. We gotta see. It, it, it has so much here at stake. Uh, it also has, as I said, Sevilla yeah, has, has not been really great in the head-to-heads as well. A little bit down there too. Real Valladolid with that point gets out of the relegation zone. It's not Elche and they gave themselves a little bit of breathing room but still, um, yeah, Real Valladolid looks everything but safe. Also want to note that Eibar, who is now in last place and very much going down, they have never been relegated from La Liga because they went once up and stayed up so far. So note that as well. Let's go to expected standings. Atletico Madrid by a hair. It is by a hair, Atletico Madrid is favored at, at the moment, but it has hardly anything to separate them. Uh, I think it is uh, 39.4 versus 39.45 ish or something like that in the chances of winning the title, uh, which tells you how tight it is. Um, and you can see or already with uh, five games, game games ago, this three point margin between the top four is expected to remain that way. And on the, on the bottom, yeah, Real Valladolid also by a hair over Elche, but that is also going down to the wire. And I don't think that Alaves is all that safe. And we have to see where Huesca is going as well. So uh, it's very exciting. Up on top, on the bottom, and even for the Europa, uh, Euro, for, for, for the European spots, it's not that uninteresting. I actually have to adjust it, well, because with Barcelona winning the cup, uh, we get an additional spot there in seventh. So, um, have that in mind. Uh, the next round this weekend, we have Valencia Barcelona, a huge match in Sevilla Athletic Club. I think those two uh, are must wins. I mean, it's all must wins for now. Atletico against Elche giving uh, is a relegation fight against the title fight. And then Real Madrid also sooner. How will Real Madrid cope now with uh, having Champions League in, in between? I mean, there are so many storylines. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, come come to think of it. And then I just want to put out, this is what the weekend thereafter. We have Barcelona against Atletico Madrid, we have Real Madrid against Sevilla. Yes, the two big boys have home field advantage, but the way the things have been going this season, that's a lot to go. And we have Real Betis against Granada, who, which could be huge for the European spots as well. So, I mean, that weekend, super weekend, I think this will be La Liga weekend for me. Uh, in France this weekend, we also have a big clash between Monaco and Lyon, uh, where I think Lyon is already out of it, but uh, Monaco could be pulled out of the race as well. PSG against Lens, it will be interesting because, you know, Man City come, come, coming up, and then Lille against Nice, also not uh, an easy duel. And then the around in Portugal, and yes, there has been a game played, but I have not said it yet, but I'll, I'll tell you at least the result. The big one here is that Mora Range against Porto ended in a 1-1, one -one where Porto very late gets the equalizer through a, a Taremi penalty. They get a goal was disallowed on also, which probably, uh, and then the coach gets also sent, sent off. But that draw and with Befica winning over San Santa Clara more or less puts uh, Porto also out of the title result, although there are many more games. Also five rounds in Portugal to we play, but now six points clear for Sporting. It's 94% now. Uh, it looks comfy for Sporting again. Um, and it says as much in, in the expected standings. And also uh, the bottom takes also shape in Portugal with, um, yeah, Bovish is a big name uh, being down there too. And uh, the up come, come, come around there. Um, yeah, I mean, Sporting against Nas now, this is an absolute must win. And I think then with four, four rounds and six points i think you should be fine boy 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 it's exciting uh those especially france and spain are the most exciting leagues at the at, at, at the moment porto is also exciting because sporting has not won in ages and breaking the duopoly between porto and benfica so that's also quite exciting let me know your thoughts on the, what's happening in all these leagues on this beautiful jersey. Give it a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.